Hello, hello, duties such as maintaining peace and order in the community. They have a leader and the leader is called Asafu Ache. Asafu Ache is the commander of a company. We have different types of groups of companies. In some um, communities, you might have three or four groups. But let me base on Nungwa where we have two groups known as the Chilefui group on um, Asongofua group, which is the the senior and then the junior um, Asafu groups. These are the two groups and they all have war flags which symbolize their unity and togetherness and readiness for war. They also have a bell which is used for communication and calling the people together during war. The Asafuache, who is the commander of the of the company, command the members and show them the tactics and um, strategy for the war. So everybody listen and follow the Asafuache. In Nungwa, for instance, like I said. We have a Safuache, which some of them play another role called Shipi, who is also a commander, or let me say uh, a general commander of these um, companies. The Shipi is also a head, meaning the senior Asafuache. We have different Asafuache, so we have different Asafu. So their leader also becomes the Asafuache. So the Asafuache has a role to play. Whereas some of them have been uh, promoted to Shipi, which is the um, the leader of the Asafuache men. So this is the few we can explain about Asafuache. The groups which are known as Chilifuache and Asaf Asumofuache come from a typical traditional system of the people of Nungwa Kro. My grandfather told me that during a time of war, 
they need strong men to defend their community. We have a custom or a right that we perform for first bonds, which is known as Chile. This enables you to go to war to defend the community. Before they find out whether the person is strong enough to lead or go to war, there are a few things you have to pass through. The elders have to check if you are strong enough, like I said, or have the courage to go to war. So they will perform these rites for you, which is known as Butum War or Kulomochumi War. They have a process of doing this, starting from you know the Asafuache, who is the GP taking you to the Babulomo, and the Babulomo will also initiate uh, you into that uh, right. And after your initiation, there are a few things we will we'll, um, enlighten on it later. Why we just look at the um, the positions of or the duties of Asafuache. So this custom, which is the Klomotunwo is performed for the first bombs. Now, it, it, it got to a time where they realized we need more people to be part of their suffering. So, um, the name of the name Chile, it's a, a name for a particular fish that can people use for cooking their own war food. And this fish is believed to be one of the strongest fish as the, uh, uh, the narration of uh, history of the people. So, they, because we are fishing community, we go to fishing and when you reach a certain stage, they give you canoes and boats for you, the youth, to go and fish or go for fishing to bring this particular fish. So, they, they can check that you are a very strong person to go to fishing by yourself. Which some people are known to call Inkomeva Mule. And when you bring this fish, that means you will be able to qualify as a man. You qualify as a man. So then they will do this initiation called the Chilefui. This is how we got the name. Now, we got the second group, which is known the uh, Asongo. Asongo group, which is the, the younger group following the first bonds. So if you have the first bond group, all first bonds from any other names fall under the Chile and then the younger ones fall under the Asongo. Asongo also was um, derived from a drum, a particular drum, a war drum that is beaten for communication or is used for communication. So they also got these from the the war and set their own group. So when the elders went to war, I mean the elder brothers went to war, by the time they returned, the younger ones have taken care of the community. So they also realized, no, if we go to war and we don't have people behind us to take over the community, we can be attacked behind. So we need another people to stay. So those youth defended the community, hence them to be also initiated into the Asongo Foya group, which today also have their leader as uh, Asongo Foya Shipi or Asongo Foya Che. So this is the role that we can um, talk about at the moment concerning Asafoa Che and the Asafo group, which you can say the company, Asafo company or Asafo war company. So we would like to move on to um, another one which is Akpashon. Akpashon is also the head of Chipi and Chipi Fui that we have which is the leaders of the captains of the war. They also have a leader who is going to be the general commander. So he is also the one that controls the Asafwa Cheme and the Chipi Fui in the community. The role of these Asafo people, like I said, is to protect our boundaries, our communities, and the people, and also to maintain law and order. The Shipi, who, uh, the Akwashonche, who is the um, commander in chief for the Shipi Fui and Asafo Acheme, also has another role of taking care of our land and boundaries and solving 
all issues and conflicts concerning or among the Asafo groups and the companies. They also have another role which is assisting the chiefs or our leaders or protecting our leaders from attacks. So Shipi has its role as the senior commander or commander in chief of the uh, Asafo groups. Then when you move from there, then you come to uh, Manche, who in our traditional system, or in English they call him a chief, but in our community we call it Manche. Manche simply means the founder and the owner of the community. They have a lot of role to play. Their main role is administrative or political role. These roles are assigned to the Manche by the elders who installed or installed the person called Manche. The Manche take care of the affairs, like I said, politically and administratively of the people. They also make laws which people or who guide the people of the community. Manche men or Manche is the leader of a group of, of people of, or the community. They make laws and maintain order. They are also known as the judges in the olden days. When someone is told as the Manche, he is the leader of the community and it is the belief that he knows better and has a counsel to deal with every uh, problems in the community. So whenever there's an issue in the community, people take the matters to the Manche to solve these um, problems for them. Some of the problems could be marriage problems, some of them could be family issues, some of them could be misunderstanding of uh, money, of, uh, some of them could be property issues. So him being Manche as the founder or owner of the community, people think he knows this or know how everybody came into the community. So when you have issues, you take it back there. They assign so many duties. And like I said, some of these duties are to take care of the community, make laws, check if everything in the community is working. Look for developmental equipment for the community. Make sure the community and it people are doing very well. So Manche has a lot of roles to play. Let's come to Jasiche. Jasiche is also a council that look for the person to be installed as the, the chief of the community. So they will do those um, selection and installation. But actually, this is where Jasiche come from the account system. We, the guys, do not practice this Jasiche thing until later um, Gamashi people adopt that system, which has generated to all the other Ghana communities. In the olden days, we, or the community leaders, are installed or selected by the Council of Elders, which are the family heads, Apuche Acheme, and also the um, advisory body for the uh, community. So, Jasiche came in as one of the one of the um, group to help these old men select the people and go through. So, they are kind of like people who are known to install or do the instrument for the person to become a chief. But behind the scene, the Council of Elders have already done all these things, vetting, selection and everything, before they give it to their spokesperson, who is the Jasiche, to come and announce to the general public. So the Jasiche, uh, who is the leader of the Jasiche, when we say Jasiche, is the uh, heads of um, families put, it, put together to form this Jasi council. So the leader of the, uh, the Jasi will be called Jasi Che. 
but in the actual fact, the address and the jazz teacher is the spokesperson who brings out the information done by the, the elders uh, closed doors to the people of the community. But many have now adopted that they are the people that installed the chief because of what is done behind closed doors. Yeah, let's talk about the Mankralo. Mankralo is also an administrator and also has an administrative duty. He is the vice president or the caretaker of the town when there is no manchi in our current um, traditional structures. But like I said, in the olden days, in some places, some um, are Jasi Cheme and some are, are Manklalus. So in terms of taking care of the community when there is no chief, in some places the Jasi in some places the Manklalu, in some places Shikitele, in some places the Wulok. So when you come to Ga, during the olden days, like I said, the Manklalu was brought to take care of the community when there's no chief because there was an issue when the chief was having a uh, problem with the community but because chiefs have been recognized by gazette they are now functioning like i said an administrative they, they form an administrative body to um, also take care of our administrative matters when the chief is not around but previously, it was our forefathers, like I said, the head of the community or the family heads who are assigned this duty before Manklalu came into our political system. The Manklalu is now the um, vice to the Manche when it comes to administrative matters. The Manche is the president of the traditional council and the Manklalu is the vice president. And like I said, in some communities, it's different. But we are talking about structures of Mungwa, where the Manklalo is the vice president. And the Manklalo in Mungwa is also the chairman of the herbal and scientific group known as Agbafui Acheme. Agbafui Ache is herbalist. And also, at the same time, they look or take care of the affairs of spiritual matters. When I say spiritual matters, in terms of somebody uh, in African belief, somebody using black magic, they call it, to harm somebody or some foreign deities or other things, spirit is coming to attack the community. They are assigned to take of these duties and also to scrutinize some of the warrior and watch them to see if they are really possessed by our deity. So they also have a special role to play. They also cure people from bad disease, diseases and um, illness. That is their duty. For example, like COVID, for instance, if we have COVID or malaria outbreak or something that we think we cannot find a solution, we'll do a consultation through the Abafuache as the herbalist and also a, a, a spiritual um, leader for these groups or the herbalist associations or uh, these science scientific people they call it currently because for us science is all in medicine and herbs and they are the people that deal with herbs and magic stuff so they have this role to play in our community and then when you come the next topic or the next uh, position is the the high priest of the Ghan community the ruler is a ruler of the community as well as the spiritual leader of the community they are very pure and highly spiritual people they have duties to communicate with the divinity, the almighty, and our um, deities. The Janawoyu also take care of the warrior when they are in trunk or possessed by our deities. Some of their duties is to make sure 
they take care of all the dressing gears and beads and everything on the way when they are not possessed so when they get possessed they need to take some of these dressing gears and keep for safe for them some of their duties also is to take care of the um the pelejano where are the four court of the, the community they also help in all things the ulomo does and sometimes they play a major role that we called the and also when it's time for sisi boom of a, a past priest or priestess they also assist in these duties they also help in installation of a wulong they have this role of you know putting on the beads and all the dressing clubs and uh, perfumes and everything we use on our Ulomo and the Woye. So this is the duty also for the Jano Woye. So we have um, the, the Labia, which are selected from different plants. They help the Ulomo in day to day activities of our community. They learn or help, they learn the, the process and duties of a wulomo. So when they become a wulomo, then they know what to do. And in terms of installation of a new wulomo, the senior labia who will be the wulomo will be there for the junior labia and the council of elders to help to the installation of the new wulomo. The labia also help the wulomo in his administrative um, matters in terms of delivery or receiving of gifts and items on behalf of the Wulom. If the Wulom want to send somebody or need some helps, they send the Labia. In case they have to go, they even go with them, along with them, so they can learn the, the actual um, helps the Wulomers are picking. So a Labia has a duty in the community, as far as uh, you call them the clinics, as for the, the, the Wulomo. Then we have the Wulomo itself, who is the senior, the father, and the, the uh, spiritual head of the community. He look at all the affairs of the spiritual uh, duties of the community. This is done in collaboration with the Abafuache. The Wulomo has another administrative duties of taking care of the people of the community, checking of everything in the community through um, the Labia and some other people. The Wulomo, which is known by many people today as Wulomo, our ruler or our governor. This rulership of the Wulome came when the founder of the community and the leader, Konobokete Lawe, has left or departed to the sea. The Wulome then assigned to do the duty of the Kono as well as his spiritual duties. Wulomo are known in other communities or we have different type of Wulomo. We have the principal Wulomo and then we have the subordinate Wulomo. So when I say Wulomo, because the, the general word has become Wulomo, everybody is called Wulomo. But we have what we called Bachum Anatalaloi or La Suloi. Lasunlo is also known in our um, culture as the people who cleans the community, the priests and the priestesses when they come in France or possessed by the deities. 
So a wulong also have a lot of um, duty. Let's talk about Noya Manche. Noya Manche is a development chief in the English word, but in the local we call it Noya Manche. Noya simply means development. Noya Manche is assigned the duty of making sure that the community get development. When we call these political um, assemblies or the political democracy, our elders brought in these development plan which they have to interact with the government. So they select these people known as the Noya Manche. Normally, Noya Manche is given to even outsiders who are known who are uh, known to be who are known to be businessmen and people who are already helping the community in terms of infrastructure and financially. So a Noya Manche can be a foreigner or an indigenous. But the Noya Manche, as we sit now, is what we know as the local government. They work hand to hand with the Manche, who is the head, the paramount, and also the priest and other elders in the community to make sure we get development such as hospitals, um, clinics, football parks, schools companies, factories, and others. So their duty is to make sure these things come to the community. They work with the assembly to make sure what we are getting in our community is the best. And in case the community also needs something, they go to the assembly. So in between the manche and the assembly, it is the Noya manche who has this duty to uh, do for the community. When you leave Noya Amanche, you go to Oblantai Amanche. Oblanta simply means the youth. So the youth also have a leader who is now called the youth leader. So this youth leader is known as Oblanta Amanche or the youth chief. They also have a duty assigned to them by the chief and the people of the community. The Oblanta Amanche look or take care of the affairs of the uh, development of the youth in their education, looking for jobs and providing them their needs. This leader also makes sure he maintains law and order and unity among the youths in the community. When there is conflicts between the youth, the Oblanta Amante is the one to solve his problem. When the youth has issues with the elders, they speak through the Oblanta Amante, then delivered to the chief. So Oblanta Amante also has a rule. When there is issue or any attack coming, or the chief, who is the paramount, or the Wulomo need the youth, they send the message to the Oblanta Amante. Then the Umbrata Mante will also organize the youth to assemble before the chief. So this is the duty of the Oblanta Mante. So when there is anything coming or anything happening in the community with that, the concern of the uh, the Mante, the youth will the youth leader will be held responsible. So even if the youth are agitated, it is the duty of the Oblanta Mante to calm them down and make sure they solve their problem for them. Now, Ochambe is also a spokesperson for the Manche. They do the interpretation of the uh, language and deliver messages to other communities on behalf of the, the, the chief and the people. When the chief speaks, it is the Ochambe who is the spokesperson to deliver the message or the, the, the language to the, the people because the chief does not speak direct to the people but he speaks 
through the linguist, the Ochami. Another duty of the Ochami is also to hold the state staff or the linguist staff, which we call, or people might call it the totem, the, the strength or the spiritual uh, uh, power of the community. So the strength which is known or the, the, the symbol of the community is also hold or kept in the custody of the Ochame for the chief. So this is the rule of the Ochame. We are done for today. We'll come back next time to continue. Have a blessed day. Thank you very much. Voila. Dong. Go, go.